So before I start this, you might be wondering what's up with the weird 5x4 aspect ratio instead of the more usual 16x10 or 16x9. Well, the thing is that I'm actually making this on a 5x4 screen. My monitor is 1280x1024, so that's the reason for the 1280x1024 uh, video. So um, with that out of the way, let's, uh, let's get into the video then, shall we? Oh, the shark bait has such teeth. And it shows that early away. One seemingly small problem I've noticed with Fitbit Future. I talk about online prejudice. With a headline like that, you surely have paid attention. I'm not going to say, oh, there should be more minorities on the crew, or anything like that. I'm way too close to the camera and coming to you with a vague approximation of my real appearance because today I've got a serious topic. Minorities and women. A recent tweet that seems to have been deleted, I certainly couldn't find it while searching and the last mention of it I could find was cached in a Google website description, has made me a little uneasy. It simply reads, homophobic, racist, and sexist content will not be tolerated on Vidbit Future. Seems innocuous enough, right? Even seems like it could be really good for everything, right? I don't think so. But Oliver, I can hear you saying right now, we're stopping racism that way. If we don't say that, then racists will flood the site and it will be unusable to minorities. Well, my friend made out of hay, uh, that's where you're wrong, you are. Doing this doesn't stop racism. It may actually even make it worse. Make everything worse. If you've seen Mr. Enter's further thoughts on the Good Family video, I'm going to be drawing a lot of inspiration from that and borrowing a couple concepts. So this video will be redundant if you've seen that video already. However, since not all of you have seen it, I'm going to be repeating a few things that Mr. Enter said so that we're all on the same page. My main point is that we need communication between all different political views, and this includes the one that seemed backwards or obviously wrong. All political views should have their own voice, and if you cut off somebody else's voice, they turn into more and more extreme measures just to be heard. And when people don't have a voice, they become more paranoid and guess where prejudice comes from. That's right, our old friend Fear. They're afraid that the media is corrupt and controlled by the people they fear to only let one opinion through, so they shout louder. They try to get the, eh, what they believe to be the truth out. That is, unless they're banned, in which case they think, they think louder. And they have more reason to believe that the medium is corrupt when their opinion is being censored. And we miss out on the opportunity to talk to these people. You guys, racism is fear, and we can try to stamp that fear out in people by showing them reality. But it does take work, and it takes once or twice being uncomfortable about what's being said, because we can't just shield our ears and sing when we hear something we don't like. Otherwise, we become no better than those we claim to be above. And then the fighting will continue. And nobody will know why they're fighting, who they're fighting, or what they're fighting against. Because we all know that the other side is bigoted or SJW land, and I'm never going to listen to them. And when we don't listen to our opponents, guess what happens? A whole lot of nothing with a side dish of the breakdown of democracy. A GOP building was firebombed in 2016 because Gregorian liberals shut their ears and sung while the Republicans talked and they finally reached the breaking point of tolerance for democracy. Other people will have opinions different from your own, and we can't go anywhere if we keep on secretly rooting for totalitarianism. Only by letting each side of a debate have a, ho have a voice, homosexual, black, republican, or whatever else, we can truly have a democratic system. Censoring the internet only leads to prejudice, intolerance, and hindering of the spread of knowledge, ideas, and culture. By taking away the voice of those who have already had little, we provoke the buried rage against the people easiest to scapegoat, the ones who aren't like them, the foreigners, whether they be white or black, homosexual or heterosexual, or male or female. Everyone has prejudice, and everyone can be hated. In fact, the most important days in 2016 involved acts of racism against any race, black, white, Mexican, or Asian. Congratulations, Vidbit2. 
you're officially a totalitarianism of opinion.